So yesterday we went pretty hard against the Middle Eastern influence in entertainment and music and how it bleeds into our politics. And as you begin to understand and appreciate that it's called the Velvet Mafia, you can begin to appreciate the degree of moral courage that's on display here. And as I've said, if Americans were willing to show more moral courage to stand up for what they believe in, stand up against government overreach, a lot of these problems would disappear overnight. And so it's important to call out brave men and women when you see them. Rob Schneider in this case, business insider, of course, but it, that's why this takes all the more courage. Rob Schneider rails against the shot. He says, just say no. And, and pay real close attention. This is Yahoo Entertainment. I love the way they frame all of this to make a, them sound ridiculous. So Rob Schneider doesn't want his followers to get the shot, and he's citing the Second Amendment in his argument. Go on. On Saturday, the hot chick star, well, he's done decades worth of movies. Isn't it funny they pick that? It's just kind of silly, flippant, nothing of substance, it wasn't that good. The hot chick star, 57, oh no, getting a little old, took to Twitter for a rant, a rant, huh? Not a screed, in which he advised his more than 938,000 followers. This is what scares them. A million seems to be the magic number for deplatformings and getting rid of people because that's where real influence seems to show up and that's where narrative control steps in and really starts getting aggressive so don't ever like oh i got a million subscribers guys watch your step so he advised his more than nine hundred thirty-eight thousand followers against getting a shot after hearing news that a third one may be required to maintain efficacy boy those uh those pharmaceutical companies must be rubbing their hands together with glee right remember when the left didn't trust big pharma heavy rain does. So he goes on to say, just say no and keep saying no. Over half the U.S. population is continuing to say no to this unapproved experimental gene therapy. Uh-oh, somebody read the fine print. My body, my choice, Schneider tweeted, closing a statement with the hashtag Second Amendment is for this. Obviously, saying the Second Amendment is to prevent government overreach which it was. We, we fought a revolution against a monarchy and decided that, and, and Machiavelli in The Prince talks all about this, about the importance of an armed citizenry to maintain free populations. This isn't hard. And they go on to tell us what the Second Amendment says. Well, thanks, Yahoo. Yahoo Entertainment. Yes. A well-regulated militia necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Wow. That, that's a good thing Yahoo's here to tell me what's in the Constitution. In a series of follow-up tweets, Schneider shared more of his opinions. Like, this is what we're all doing. It, it, more of his opinions. Psh. Claiming the government has had a... Claiming, like we... <laughs> they just claim that we locked down. He's just claiming that we had a two-year fear campaign and lockdown, destroyed middle-class household incomes, bankrupted untold thousands of businesses, and now are putting children's lives at risk. He's claiming this. Did, well, did we have a lockdown or not? Did we have a lockdown or not? Ugh. He also shared a tweet discussing the myth that shots protect others from getting the virus, and another encouraged people to come out of the shot closet. Oh, that's interesting. He's uh, he's getting pretty good at uh, co-opting leftist rhetoric. So in a final statement, Schneider shared a, sh shared a screenshot of a statement about bodily integrity and informed choice. He said, we should never abandon our liberal principles and international stance on body autonomy, free informed choice, and human rights and support unprecedented coercion of professional health workers, patients, and people to have experimental treatments with limited safety data. This and the policies that go with it are more of a danger to our society than anything we have faced during this last year. Wow, boy, someone report that guy for a... Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's like a homebred extremism, right? 
when when this is extreme, you got to wonder what are they pushing on us, right? Like this is the most reasonable thing in the world. And up to, I don't know, six months ago, I think everyone in the Western world would have agreed with this statement until the narrative curators told people to not believe in it. They worship their screens and they do whatever they say. In contrast to Schneider's statements, a February report from Center for Disease Control stated 50% of individuals experience minor side effects. Okay, but according to the CDC itself, there's been over uh, 5,000 deaths and a quarter million people hospitalized. I don't think hospitalization is a minor side effect, right? Like we, and we can't have this. We got to talk in uh, language creoles just to try and get around it. Who knows what happens there? So... Schneider's statements receive a massive amount of replies from followers, including 5,200 retweets, some from people who shared his sentiments and many who found his use of the Second Amendment to be quite unusual because they want to play stupid and swing at straw men. So we can see Chris Polanski. Is comedic actor Rob Schneider suggesting Americans shoot the virus with guns? rather than get the safe and effective shot developed to protect them and their communities? Sure, dude. Yeah, that's, that's what he's saying. Just take your machine gun. and Why didn't we think of this as the cure for AIDS? You know, it's called a straw man. You know what you're doing. Everyone sees right through it. Way to waste your time. I'm so disappointed. Oh, really? I, I bet he cares, Tony, that Rob Schneider is against getting a shot. I drove 22 hours to the closest video store to rent Rob's latest movie, Deuce Bigelow 2, on VHS and threw it out. Wow. There, it, you, you must be one of those uh, out-of-work comedians I keep hearing about. I'll take medical advice from Rob Schneider at the same time I take culinary advice from Hannibal Lecter. Hey man, your body, your choice. So... Despite the uproar, Schneider did receive some report from Hollywood, including a statement from Selma Blair, who said, well, she got the shot and was fine. I do have immune system problems. I do chemo on a regular basis, got the shot twice. But she said, I'm fine with whatever people say. I don't mind what he says at all. Her son had a shot injury. Interesting. I thought they were perfectly safe when he was very young. So... Um, it, it's interesting because I think he killed his career. You'll probably never see him again, or if you do, it'll be in some minor role. This is the way that a guy like David Geffen or, or others like him, they make a call and that's the end of Schneider, right? Like this is why this is courageous. He's burning his career down to speak the truth. This deserves respect. This is, this is, well, you know, you want to make an argument for civic nationalism, Rob Schneider is showing that there are good men of every stripe. And he asks, the only real question I have for my, you know, 800, 900,000 followers is this. Will you ever fall for this BS again? The next time your elected officials want to lock you in your houses and try to ruin your livelihood and lock your children out of school, what will you tell them? And the American flag. It's funny how the American flag has once again become a flag that almost has these rebellious overtones. Like I thought, thought that's the country we were in. Schneider has also frequently criticized cancel culture, declaring that he consciously avoids political commentary in his comedy. Boy, that's, that's not very popular these days. And uh, this cancel culture is real. It's continuing, and I don't want to be a part of it. Yeah, you know, it's funny that... Uh, Comedians want the right to offend and be edgy and question authority, and, and that's all gone away. Like, I've uh, criticized LARP against the machine before before we'd even heard of this current uh, virus we're dealing with right now. I asked, what if they raged against a mandatory shot? How fast would their concert be canceled? And guess what they haven't raged against? Well, the pharmaceutical machine. Huh, it's why I... Uh, Dub them LARPers. So I just wanted to highlight this. Kudos to Rob Schneider. This took bravery. This took courage. This probably sunk his career. And, and uh, hopefully he provides 
uh, a backbone for more and more people with bigger platforms to stand up and say no, because look, this is the way you get through this.